Ready? Ready. Okay. Well, no, I'm not ready. I don't want to take on this guy. Ugh. I just want to... I just want to run by him, not get hit over the head with a giant lead pipe, and... I just want to have fun and go about my merry old way. That's a weird shape for a grenade launcher. <laughs> Look at it, it's, it's square. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to go down. Because I know what's waiting there for me. It's a G-Virus guy. He's going to kick my ass. Just like the, uh, the beast that, uh... Leon found in where do you call it in the sewage treatment plant this guy is almost exactly the same except well he's a person ah <sighs> I mean he's got that going for him at least it's not as bad but <sighs> look at this guy I don't even want to get close to him because I know as soon as I do he's gonna smack me on top up, upside the head Claire isn't gonna be able to do anything neither am I Look at that. Look, look, I can't even... I can't even do anything! I probably should have waited. Seen if I could have actually fought him, but... Okay, time for attempt number two. Well, attempt number three. <laughs> attempt number two this session. Yeah, yeah. Pull off the pipe and grow up to be a big... A big G-Virus boy. See, I don't know. Are you supposed to be William Birkin? Because William Birkin looked different. So you're just supposed to be a regular lab guy. Oh no! Run! Run! Come on! Do something! Is he get? Yes! He's gone! So I just had to keep backing up and keep shooting him. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What I should have done in the first place. I just don't like that I always have to, I don't know, shoot in the dark in this game. And it's always like, oh well, you can't see it either because you're you're you can't see the enemy either because your character is in the way or you know they're just off screen. And I, I feel like Resident Evil One never had that problem. Like there were screens like this, like when you were in the garden with the dogs and stuff and you can see them right away but there were never really any scenes where where you couldn't really see what you were shooting at and I feel like that's one of the bigger the bigger problems I have with this game it just makes things unnecessarily hard sometimes is that something on the ground? ooh wait that is something on the ground It's not something I can pick up, apparently. What are those? I want to know! I want to know about these strangers like me. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to open this, and there's going to be Mr. Alligator, right? <sighs> I have to go back to Sherry. Why? You don't even know if it's safe yet. Is this a ladder? No? Okay. It looks like it was a ladder to that area up above, that was all. Is it safe? Is it safe? Is it safe? Did I introduce the episode? Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio 2. Since I was so terrible at fighting that G-Virus monster, even worse than uh, with Leon fighting his G G first G-Virus monster, because I was just freaking out and being like, Oh no, can I run by him? Because I was expecting I could run by him like uh, Mr. Tall, Gray, and Ugly. So. Okay. 
Okay, that was that must have just been the door shutting because I thought I heard footsteps, but Ugh. jumping at shadows, jumping at shadows. See, I really wonder about this game, about this, just the Resident Evil games in general, because they're of a different cut than the Silent Hill games. I've not played any Silent Hill games besides Silent Hill Two, but by the way, I have three. I've had it for a few months now. I've just you came back! Haven't played it yet. I can't believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Okay, so she's staying with us now. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna drop off a couple of things. I think I'm just gonna drop off uh, the grenade rounds and. Yeah, is... I don't. I don't want to. Oh, well, she left her side. <laughs> um, I don't want to be in here without any pistol rounds. Oh, yeah, I forgot that there's... Um, I might show it off. It's going to waste a bullet, but that's not a big deal. We've got plenty of other bullets. Handgun ammo we're not really wanting for right now, I don't think. Um, where is it? Hand there we go, handgun ammo. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna hold on to the grenade launcher. I don't think we're gonna run out of ammo too soon. For, you know, we've got 28 rounds for it. Well, I will drop off this herb, though. Just to make some room. I don't feel like we're in too big of a pickle, that's all. Anyway, we're gonna take the pistol. Now, if I'm right... Because I only noticed this a couple of times um, when I was playing through Leon's story again. I think it happens with this this hallway. If you shoot, no, okay. Because I've been playing on the uh, N I've actually been playing on the N sixty four version, which I found I kind of like a little bit more because it has a. Uh, it, ha it does not have tank controls. Well, you can set it to not have tank controls. Um, I don't know. It's it. Sometimes it's be sometimes it's better. Sometimes it's not. Which is really weird because it should just be better all the time. But because the fixed camera angles, it doesn't work sometimes. But I have found that uh, I don't know, I'm enjoying it a lot more. And you can do a certain little thing with bullets in that version unless I just it just didn't happen but I don't want to waste ammo so <laughs> all right any creepy crawlies that we have to save sherry from no good but like I was saying um, mostly with Resident Evil and I guess there are a few other games that come close. I have never played Parasite Eve, so I don't know about that. But, um... Like, I, I am... I have a sense of unease with Resident Evil. I'm not usually that scared. I mean, there's a couple of places where I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? But it's more shock of the moment. And I'm just wondering, like, did people actually find it scary back in the day? Like, when they first played it, when they first picked it up, and they saw, oh, it's zombies in a mansion, it's zombies in a police station, this is terrifying. Come on, let's get out of here. Not just scary, but like, actually terrifying or scary. Oh, jeez, you. <laughs> Claire? Stay quiet.
didn't even see us. <laughs> but um, this is one of the problems that people has, have with uh, older horror movies as well. Oh, gotta watch out for that undertow, Claire. Where are or, you? Sherry. <laughs> Sherry! <laughs> the floodgate is open. Yeah, are you gonna even check? <laughs> it's, it's like the scene from, uh, the compactor scene from, um, Star Wars A New Hope, where Luke gets, just, just gets pulled down. Alright, that's just, uh, Claire's knife. I thought there was an enemy there that I wasn't seeing at first. Aha! See, we're gonna need some poison resistance. So I'm guessing there will be spiders up ahead. <laughs> I'm only gonna take one because I need some room, but... Um, this is one of the things, one of the problems that a lot of people have watching older movies like Frankenstein, the early Drac- or the early Frankenstein, the first one, the James Whale one. Um, the sewer manager facts. Did we already read this one? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we, uh, we saw this already. If not, you can always just pause it and read it. But, because I'm pretty sure we were in here before. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I just don't... It's an old locker. Is there anything in them? Yes, a first aid spray. I'm glad I looked. <laughs> um, get back my train of thought, please. <laughs> One of the problems I'm having with actually seeing this as a scary game, because it is survival horror. It's not just survival with the zombies and liquors and G-virus guys and T-virus guys and tall guys who may be T or G-virus and have no hair. <laughs> and who look like Vulgan. Um, it is... It is horror. It is supposed to be horror. But I'm not actually scared. Again, parts of it get tense. I do have little anxieties. Uh, mostly about stuff like bodies disappearing and stuff like that. We've already discussed that throughout the LPs. Um, but like, like I was saying, with older horror movies, this is the same sort of problem that a lot of people who like those films have. Uh, is it actually scary? Like, do you actually find the older Frankenstein scary. For me, no, it's not really scary. It's kind of silly, actually. <laughs> um, same with the Frankenstein book, Mary Shelley's book from 1818, 1831, depending on which version you've read. Leon. What happened? Well, you're bleeding. You got. Shot in the shoulder. I, I ran into this woman who was in trouble. Her name's Ada. Right after that, someone tried to kill me. Nearly succeeded, too. Ada went after the sniper, but I, I'm worried about her. I gotta find her before, before something happens. But you've been shot. I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. That's nice. <laughs> You're gonna get back up on your feet and save Ada anyway, so why am I why why should I even bother? <laughs> I know what happens. But to get back to what I was saying, um the people who did watch these movies, read these books, um, people did find them genuinely terrifying. Uh, like, Mary Shelley's own account of... of writing Frankenstein, for example. To her, it was one of the most terrifying tales that she could have put to pen. Um... But, I mean, I... I... I guess I'm a scholar 
on Frankenstein to some extent. I wrote my... I wrote my paper for grad applications on Frankenstein. Um, I mean, it's gotten me into universities. So I do have some sort of expertise when it comes to that book, at least. But, like, I still don't know why it's actually con considered scary. And that's the same thing with this... with this game. Like, I can see why it could be considered scary, but I'm never gonna have that real experience of finding it terrifying or something like that. To some extent, I do find it, well, a little bit, like I said, unsettling and scary. Because there are points where I'm like, okay, I gotta stop playing this game. And to me, that's telling me that, well, you're finding this game scary. <laughs> but that's the thing, like, I'm, I'm not... I'm not wanting to put the game down because I'm like, oh, I can't handle this anymore. It's more that I don't want to lose what I've gotten so far because it was hard to get. <laughs> uh, we got one more space, so I'm going to check that next room. So, like, I'm just wondering if you guys want to tell me, like, why do you, did you find this game scary when you were younger? Do you find this game scary now? Why? <laughs> like, that's the biggest question. Why do you find it scary at all? Um, because, I mean, well, I don't have to beat a dead horse. I've already told you why I'm, why I don't find it scary, per se. Just, just a thought I had. And might spark some discussion in the comments, so. Discuss away, if you wish. <laughs> I think it's an I think it's an interesting idea. That's all. Because like we can point at other scary video games and movies like I can point to Silent Hill 2 and I can tell you exactly why I find that scary because you're very alone because there's the entire environment is set up so that you don't know what's going on. You don't really have the same sense of that in Resident Evil. I didn't get that from the first one, I'm not getting it from this one. That's not to say that Resident Evil is bad in any way, because, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm 38, 39 parts in <laughs> to an LP, I, of course I'm enjoying it. But, and this is a big but, I'm not enjoying it the same way that I would enjoy Silent Hill 2. I'm not enjoying it the same way I would enjoy the first Dead Space. I'm not enjoying it the same way I would enjoy... Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I'm kind of enjoying it the same way I, mean, I enjoy... Um, I felt I enjoyed Amnesia, The Dark Descent, or Penumbra, or Penumbra Overture. Because I don't, I didn't really find those games scary per se either. I just found them a little bit frightening, a little bit tense, anxiety-inducing, but not necessarily scary. There's nothing wrong with that either. I'm not saying that they're worse for it. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's a different type of game. <laughs> I'm glad I came up here, actually. <laughs> can uh, steal all the items that Chris didn't get, the lazy bum. Because <laughs> he took the items we couldn't get. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, and there's a... There's another storage crate. Fantastic. I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Phil. And again, if you found the ideas of horror, movies, books, whatnot, interesting... You talk about them. I want to hear your thoughts. That's what it comes down to. That's why I bring up a lot of these things. You know, I wanted to check if there were ink ribbons. No, okay. That's fine. I don't need ink ribbons. <laughs> I guess a sense of why I like 
like scary heavy air quote books that aren't really scary is because I want to find out what's going on too. It's almost a mystery as as much as anything else. Oh, zombies. <laughs> you can't get to me. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. <laughs> Oh, I could watch this for hours. <laughs> okay, enough of that.